it was our first season, and we uh, we started out making a very different kind of an animated show. It's got short form um, animation. It's an anthology. And it's made by uh, many different artists and animation companies all around the world. So we were, you know, groundbreaking in an area that Netflix had never done before and that we hadn't either. Um, we have a lot of experience making beautiful animation, but not so much telling such great stories that were meaning, meaningful to many people. Um, and I think that that was, it was both rewarding and challenging at the same time. So, how about that? How about you? Perfect. The biggest, cha the biggest challenge, I think, it was because um, I personally never directed a film before, and these guys knew, and they didn't care anyway. And I had to open a studio in an apartment and fill it up with computers and artists, and, <laughs> and I still didn't have a clue of what I was doing. Um, but I think that... Um, that I felt the power of these guys um, very much backing me up. And obviously the money from Netflix, which is something very amazing that they invest on artists. You know, it almost reminds me a little bit, I don't wanna sound ambitious or too pretentious, but it sounds like you guys know in the 70s when, when they were giving money to these super incredible directors to go out in the streets and do amazing films that maybe they were directors that didn't know how to make big studio films but they knew how to make art and they were doing very basically art and that's how I felt like they were Netflix was really innovating and, and letting us doing the thing great collaborators too yeah. and great collaborators great yeah collaborators. like uh, we never heard yeah. too much <laughs> it's like yeah. they were leaving us like so much freedom that's so that cool wonderful 